All right, so I know this is overkill, but <laughs> I could just do some measurements and call it a day. However, I'm just, I got a scanner, I'm gonna use a scanner, and then I might just scan a few more parts in case I wanna design some more stuff for my kayak. So it's starting to get warm, fishing season's coming up, and the cup holder they have here is, I don't know what it's for, but it's really big. And so usually when I have like my energy drinks or other beverages on the lake, it's it's not good they're not secure so what i want to do is just design a uh, fitting in here that's just going to be a smaller diameter for whatever beverage i use or have a housing that goes a little higher because this little rim is not much so got the vega here got an hd mode and all i'm gonna do is just start the scan and here there's not much to it like i said it's a very simple shape and what I'm going to go into do as well is turn on data quality. I don't care for previewing textures. I need to see how the scan quality is. And I got to say, this is the convenience of the Vega compared to like my Einstar. I've wanted to do this project for a while, but I've honestly been too lazy <laughs> to deal with taking out the whole wire setup and everything just to do a simple scan that like i mentioned i could just use basic mathematic calculations and just measure measure this diameter and call it a day however i got a scanner that doesn't require wires so i'm going to try to use it so let's see if i could get the tracking back on there we go and i'm almost done and i don't need too much but now that I'm doing an HD, might as well scan this little area here. And I don't know how well it's going to pick up without my rag trick. So as you can see, it's starting to fall apart. All right. I'm going to quickly take a glimpse at this. Perfect. For what I need, this is perfect. This is more than enough. A little missing element there and there, but that's on the back side. That'll be hard to capture. So I'm happy with this. Now let's go on the computer real quick and uh, do a quick little model and finish it off. And what I'll do is I'll measure the diameter of the, the two beverages that I enjoy on the lake and uh, probably do two fittings. That way, I'm always good to go. All right, that's done for now. All right, now we are inside Star Vision. Here's the scan. So we're gonna go ahead and generate mesh real quick. And actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna quickly trim out what I don't need, which is most of this. So I'll do it like that. Okay, invert, delete, perfect. All right. That's going to be good. Now we're just going to click generate mesh. I want full resolution, no smoothing. I don't need any kind of limits on triangles, none of that. I want it as nice as possible. All right, now I'm going to pause it while this does its thing. Perfect. That was actually pretty fast. So this looks fantastic. This is excellent for what I need. All right, now I'm going to go into my projects folder, make a new folder for... Uh, Kayak. Alright, zero one OBJs. Now I am just going to export the mesh as an OBJ. Open up 3D Max while that's cup holder. Beautiful. That's all I needed from here. So I'm going to pause it while I open up 3D Max. All right, now we're in 3D Max. We're going to go to Merge. We're going to add our OBJ cup holder. I'm already in millimeters, so I don't need to convert the units in any way. Perfect. All right. Now, again, I know this right here is flat. So what I'm going to do is like my other trick. I'm creating a tape, randomly snapping it to two points. Selecting this mesh, link it to the tape, 
hide that for the seconds so like this align it move it this way unhide so now I'm almost good I'm straight at one point but not another so Now what I'm going to do is rotate it so the walls are kind of lining up like that. That's going to make it easier to model. Zero this out. And let's just check how flat we are. So we're pretty flat. Okay. So now I could figure out how uh, picky I want to be on the fitment of this thing. So what I'm going to do here... Create a cylinder. Gonna make it a little higher than like I mentioned their traditional rim that they have. Alright, now I'm gonna do a edit poly. So these edges. Create a bevel down here. Let's see, add more segments. Like so. So now as you can see I have X-ray mode turned on so I can see how the fitment is. Now what I probably want to do is select, actually I'll add a FFD cylinder, let's see, alright, the reason why I did that is so I could kind of scale this out but evenly. All right, so as you can see, I'm having some penetration over here, not really back here. So I'm going to scoot this one back because what I don't want is it not to fit. I'm going to scale this whole thing down a little bit. Oh, those were holes. Actually, we didn't have any penetration. That was just the holes in the scan. That's good to know. Okay, so overall, fitment's looking pretty good. I'm going to add another edit poly on here. So I had two, two diameters that I wanted to look at. But before I start doing those, what I'm going to do is just round off this corner here. It's going to be good for the 3D print and just visually more appealing. All right. So the two items I have, one was... 63, 64 millimeters wide. The other one was 69. So honestly, if I make the 69 one, the 63 will fit just fine. So now that that's centered, what I'm going to do is go in. There we go. all the way down perfect because I want to get this to be as deep as I could get it <clears throat> all right and now what we'll do here I'll just round that edge off that one not as round but a little bit just so, again very nice and nice and smooth Perfect. All right, and then the last thing what I will do as well, you see how we have this little crevice here? I want to add something similar to mine. So I'm going to do it like this. To 
honestly i would love to have that be a rounded thing as well but that's probably not gonna happen but whatever okay so we're gonna go up here like that this is where if it was like fusion 360 i'm sure it's way it's really easy to round off those edges as well but i don't know fusion 360 and i'm definitely not going to be learning it for something as simple as this so I'm going to do a uh, tie bowling, subtract this one, and there we go. And then actually what I will do, because I can, is I could do something that looks pretty. So I'm going to make this one also just like the one on the kayak go up. This rounded and it's gonna be better for the 3d printing process as well and now what I'm gonna do here actually is extrude this up like this extrude these out and there's a reason for that so now I could do this if I select these two edges round them off and now what I could do, oh, what I'll do is round them off with another edit poly on top. Because if it works the way I hope it does, this is going to make it non-destructive. So let's see. Now if I select these guys and move them up, there we go. So as you can see, now I'm just moving it up past right there. And now what this should do. I add my Tybolene to it. There we go. Just a little better. Still a little sharp. But at least the other segments are better. And just for the sake of testing, I want to just try something. If I add a camphor modifier. Yeah, I tried, but as you can see with the way the geometry is, it's it's not doing it. Would have been nice, but no, no go. All right, this is it. This is my little 3D printed cup holder, so I'm about to 3D print this one. And then uh, no fishing today. So hopefully this helps someone. Um, just random, very quick tutorial, but it's something. Some, some more content, if you will, with miscellaneous things and simple things.